everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk Art. Um, for those of you who are new to the show, um, I'd like to say hello and thanks for joining us today. I'm Amy Ryshevsky. I am businesswoman, artist, mother, and wife. And, um, and my art changes as well as my life. Uh, as a lot of people say, they like to know, okay, what's Amy up to this week? So um, actually, I'm always up to something. And um, I love being challenged, and I, and I absolutely love working with the AMP Media team here. I am having the time of my life, and I hope that you are all enjoying my shows. Um, so last week, I was not on. I was away. Uh, I was in North Carolina uh, in Blowing Rock. With, um, with a number of people, uh, a small group of people, we went on a wine trip. And it was the most incredible experience because first of all, we were all, um, uh, we all had our shots, so we were all very comfortable with each other. And, um, and it was a wine group, so we spent the time together drinking wine uh, and exploring. And uh, the most exciting part was that we all stayed in this mansion um, uh, at Great, uh, well, actually, it's at, um, I'll get it right now, uh, in Blowing Rock at, at the um, West Glow uh, Spa, where they have a beautiful uh, mansion there. And the mansion was owned by uh, Elliot Dangerfield. And Elliot Dangerfield was an incredible artist. He was, he was born um, in 1861, and he moved a lot. He had three houses, and the last house that he had was the, the mansion, and it's called the Dangerfield Mansion. So as you go inside and, and explore, uh, there's an amazing uh, artwork of Dangerfield. His stuff was very North, uh, North Carolinian, I mean, like, uh, you know, very landscape and a little bit dark, but gorgeous, gorgeous work. And we, we got to um, get a tour and learn all about uh, him and uh, he, I think he died in 1932, but the, the mansion lived on, and now it's owned by um, a, a group that uh, has also has a home there. And so the mansion is, was a Raleigh Chateau, and since COVID, actually, they, they uh, had closed it down because they couldn't keep the restaurant open. So now it's really uh, an inn that people can book and stay there. Um, so we had... Um, we had a lot of uh, uh, stories going on, and, and we, we got to really do a lot of investigating around Blowing Rock. Um, and I, this summer, actually, I'm going to be back up there. So I'm going to do a tour probably through the mansion and show the work and show the history of, of some of the things uh, that would really be interesting to some people. Actually, there was a, a painting over the fireplace, and it was this young little girl and the story is that the daughter of Elliot Dangerfield uh, painted, asked ask a woman on the street if she could take a picture of the daughter and then paint it. And for some crazy reason, after it was done, the girl was, the mother was so upset with it, maybe she just didn't like how her daughter was uh, received in the painting, and she took a knife to it. So it's a very strange thing, but it's still on the mantelpiece. And, um, it, it was repaired, but it is kind of one of the stories that, that I found so, so interesting. Um, and also, uh, on the way uh, going up to Blowing Rock, since we drove from Delray Beach, we stopped at some friends in Davidson, uh, North Carolina. And our friends Donna and, um, uh, yeah, well, actually, for, yeah, Donna and Tom, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, she is an incredible artist. Actually, I've had her on my show uh, like I probably about six months ago. And you will be seeing um, in, during my commercial, she has a commercial that we put on with her artwork. And it might, if some of it, anybody's seen her show before, you, you'll probably recognize her art. But the, the most exciting part is that she is an incredible jeweler. And matter of fact, I'm wearing one of her pieces today. Um, and I guess for the next few shows, I might be showing up with her work. Um, and you, she doesn't really have a lot on her commercial right now because she's from St. Kitts and in North Carolina. And her house in St. Kitts is very difficult to get to because of COVID. So she has an attic full of jewelry. And I have to tell you, her work, 
I've never seen anything like it. Everything's real stones, real silver, real gold. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And I'd be happy to um, introduce you to her if anybody's interested in some of her things. Um, let's see, what else would I want to tell you? Uh, the, the, um, the show is, uh, is, is starting to really, really branch out. And I really appreciate everybody who is tuning in. Um, I have a new painting behind me. Um, it's called State of Mind. It's kind of difficult to see it right now, but when, when you look on my Facebook page, I have it in a, a beautiful staged uh, room, and you can really see the colors pop. It's just a, it needs the perfect lighting and everything. And so, you know, take a look at that if you're interested in a big piece. This one is 60 by 48, so it's a real nice size. Um, and it goes in all different directions because uh, I, loved, I love to paint that way because I, my middle name is Change. And I, and I really love to be able to turn it in different directions and get a different insight of what I'm looking at. And sometimes you can see different things that way. So yeah, that's my, my calling card. I actually love to do that. And um, so today I have an incredible, beautiful guest, uh, Christine Nightingale, and I'm gonna tell you all about her. And I would like to give her a little extra time. I, I love to do that um, when we have lots of things to talk about. And I also will sh talk to her after the commercial. But before we get to the commercial, um, I just I, I just like to reach out to um, a couple of people. Um, I spoke to Hank Klein this morning. And hi, Hank. If you if you fi figured out how to get on the show, I just wanted to say hello. I love talking to you and learning all about what you do. Um, and also, um, there's a lot of uh, other new friends that I know that are on. I'm not going to really name them all right now, but I, I just please share the show. It, it's we're having a ball, and um, and I the the biggest thing that that I enjoy is bringing on artists that have really never been on TV before, and they are so excited when they come on, and it's such an avenue for them to get exposure, and I do ask for anybody that's interested or you have friends that are artists and you think they should come on the show. I, I interview interior designers, flowers, artists, um, anybody that's got a nice niche uh, to, to talk about. So please uh, let me know and you could just uh, send me a message and I'll be happy to get back to them. And uh, we have a big show going on all summer long, and we're going to be virtual, so I can really work with anybody. I could get somebody to come on, on our stage also here and interview them from virtually on the other side, and they can be in the studio and get the feel for what life is like behind, the, the, behind these beautiful cameras. Okay, so I will be back in a few minutes, and we're going to move uh, Christine up on the stage and uh, look forward to hearing everything she has to tell us. So we'll be right back. OMG Flower Boutique is a family-owned and operated business. We specialize in custom arrangements for any and all occasions, big or small events, including weddings, birthdays, dinner parties, bar mitzvahs, etc., while offering the best prices and highest quality of flowers to our customers. We offer online ordering, pickup, and delivery. For more information, go to our website, omgflowerboutique.com, or call us at 561-806-5818.
Ryshevsky can help you choose the right piece that will add some magic to your space. Amy Ryshevsky can help you choose the right piece that will add some magic to your space. Amy Ryshevsky has a wide range of art, from abstracts to mosaic tapestries, and she paints on different surfaces, such as reverse painting on glass, tables, wall hangings, and sculptures. Her work can be ordered online at amyryshevsky.com, or you can come in and see it in real time at the Brooklyn Cafe Art Gallery. She also does commission work, so if you have an idea in mind, she can make it a reality. She invites you to reach out to her at Facebook or at email at amyryshevsky at gmail.com. That's amyryshevsky at gmail.com. Have an artful day. Oh, welcome back. So I hope everybody loved the commercial. It's new today. Um, I, I did introduce um, Donna uh, Len Lenard to, uh, to the show and, and the commercial. And, um, and now here we are with Christine uh, Nightingale. And I, don't, I love your name. <laughs> so, so welcome, welcome. Um, so tell me a little bit about you. I know that you're from uh, Chile. Yes. Okay. I was and born in Santiago, Chile. And um, I was born into a family of artists. So your um, father? Okay. Okay. Um, so your whole family was artists, or your father, your mother? Or? My mother is an artist. Um, she's a painter, but she, she's a very creative person. So she, she does all kinds of arts, uh, pottery, jewelry. Oh, uh, whatever she can create. Yeah, she's very creative. And uh, I think I got mostly from her, but from my father's side, um, my grandmother was a painter, a very good one, and uh, my uncle is a painter too. Wow, so. yeah, I, I really believe in the hereditary yes. um, vibes from, yeah, because yeah. I have some grandchildren that are really incredibly in art right now, and actually my daughter was too. Um, but yeah, I, it's, there's something about environment yes. and passing it down, so and that's wonderful. And when you wonderful. grow up and you, you, you grow up like here, every, there's art everywhere. I remember my grandma's house, uh, there was art from the ceiling all the way to the floors. It was like an art gallery. And uh, the smell of oils and everything is just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I love it. <laughs> you, work, you work with uh, acrylic and oil and what else? Um, I started more uh, taking it more seriously um, in high school. I painted a lot of with watercolors okay. and I really enjoyed it. But watercolors limit you. I feel like they limit you for a smaller size. Right. So then I started painting with um, acrylics, and I experimented a little bit with oils, but not enough. So I think I'm gonna. You're gonna try it. Try a it little again. more. Yes. So, so the painting that is behind you, um, it, it so reminds me of a Van Gogh feeling, and I and I think that you are um, you love Van Gogh and. Um, and Gugan and and uh, what's what's his name? Um, Kemp, right? Kemp, Kemp, Kemp. Kemp. Yes. So you're so you're really um, into that feel, and, and this is acrylic, though, correct? This is acrylic. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's really beautiful. Um, I we do have um, we do have some of your other paintings to talk about. I'm going to put them up in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> and um, so you're you're a local artist here now because you're living here full time. Yes, I'm full-time in, in Florida now. I've been moving back and forth since I'm 14, so I'm, I'm part of... Yeah, you're 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. You know, you have a nice, a nice uh, way about you. Um, so let, let's take a look at some of your work. So, okay. um, uh, yeah, Vinny. Okay. So this is my last painting. It's actually very big. It's taller than me. I'm not that tall, but... <laughs> It's, it's a six it's, feet. Yes, it's a big painting. That's beautiful. And what? And, and what's the uh, story behind this? I started this uh, creating it by uh, digital art at the beginning because digital art helps me get out the idea faster. Uh -huh. So I created this from a painting of a French of a French painter that's called uh, William Bouguereau. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. It's close. <laughs> but uh, I tried to, to bring the idea, it's called Reborn. So I tried to bring the idea of, of how we have the ability to, to transform and to be reborn 
as many times as we want in our lives. And uh, coming out of, of that shell, like breaking into, out to the world and uh, not being afraid of showing yourself and... and no, it's beautiful. And, um, and, it, and it just, it's like floating. It's just gorgeous. Yes. Uh, very nice. Let's look at another one. Okay, so these are very interesting. <laughs> yes. Um, this one, I based it on a picture of a, of a photograph of a Mexican photographer. And um, it's called, I named, I named it in Portuguese. It's called Protetoras da Floresta which means the guardians of the forest. And it speaks about um, how women are more, co more connected to, to Mother Earth and, uh, and how we are like the protectors of... We are. <laughs> we are. Of Earth. And, and yeah, uh, and I know you, you, you like the land, the bringing the environment into your photographs really be yes. and it's beautiful the way you have the trees and the way it's set back it's just really beautiful um, yeah and I like to use a lot of symbolism in my art mm -hmm. uh, like the scarab and the bee and all about uh, transformation and and uh, yeah I, li I like using symbolism um, yeah I'd lo it shows it's yes. really beautiful <laughs> and I love the way you did the trees actually Really, very nice. Yeah, that's has the like the, the Klimt film. Oh yes, yes, yes for yes. sure, for sure. Okay, let's look another one. Oh, this one's very cool. Yeah, this one is. Um, I am a person that I, I dream a lot, so. And you remember your dreams. And I remember my dreams every every single day. Do you have <laughs> Do you have dreams that will repeat? Yes. Yeah, I do yes. too, and I it's hard to to talk to people that don't understand that. And sometimes they repeat after many years. Yes. And you remember. Right, but there, and I, I keep going back to a house all the time. Yes. Um, and just, yeah, there's a lot of different things. And, and this house has no stairs, but there's right. two floors. I mean, it's crazy stuff, but I, I, it's always coming through somehow. Mm -hmm. It channels in, and I do remember my, I can remember maybe a, a dream for a day or two, um, which is rare too. You know, and then it fades. Right. But, but the ones that repeat, I, I got them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's like haunting when you wake up and you go, yes. oh God, I, I dreamt that again. Yeah, I need a, I need a shrink for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think in some way I use it to, it's a way of, of therapy or trying to figure out uh, things that are, that you can't really explain with words and you put them into images. So the door is open. The door is open. Okay. And... What, there's flowers and there's a butterfly. And the background, it's uh, the Atacama Desert in Chile. Uh -huh. And I think the desert is such a powerful place and uh, a place of extremes. So uh, and it's the a place of a lot of light, right. but also when there's a lot of light, you can show a lot of your shadows. Mm -hmm. So it's about, I think I like to show about uh, dualities, how we're always, everything in the world is dualities and showing the light and the dark and how they're a part of, of everything. Yeah, and the bird? And the bird, I think it's like the, like the messenger from above. Right, right, yes. I knew you were gonna say yes. that for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like right. the that's a beautiful piece and, and, it's, um, and it's definitely acrylic, right? Yes, it's and acrylic. The, yeah, and uh, the way you, you even did the, the, the floor part is, yeah, and it brings everything together. It's a beautiful job. You're welcome. All right, let's see another one. This is fun. Ah. So this one, it's a different line from the other ones, but I really like it. I think it, it shows, um, I feel like when I do this kind of paintings, it's more being myself, like more freely. Uh -huh. Like I use less technique. Like I don't think too much on what I'm gonna do. It just, it happens. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. best. I love that. It's, yeah. it's very fun. And it was actually, you can see, um, like there's a background. It's an old painting that somebody didn't want anymore. And I was like, oh, oh recy recycle and oh, make I something love that. new. Yeah. And it's very fun because you, you end up using, um, using it as a background and, and the colors. Yeah, that's really cool. And, 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 and what's the fish telling us? The fish, uh, to my, my perspective, 
it shows uh, abundance and it shows um, yeah, abundance, prosperity, and uh, from coming from the heart, that's why it's, it's over the heart. Side. Yes, over the heart. Yeah. And uh, yeah. also, it connects you with the element of water and emotions. And the color green is about healing, and blue about being calm. So it's it is a very common picture. I, yes. that, I could see that anywhere. And I think yeah. in all the I draw a lot of women and. I think all of them have a little bit of me. <laughs> How good. Yeah, yeah they, so, that's perfect. That's so I use them as a mirror or what I'm feeling at the moment or something like that. And that shows really well. Yeah, I really, I really, really like this too. Um, okay, let's go for another one. Aha, okay, so tell me about this. So you, you have the, um, that same feel of that house kind of feeling in there. But how did you put this together? This one, I put it together uh, digital, too. Right, uh-huh. And uh, it's, I think it's curious. I, I love the, the sunflower sunflowers. fields. I think they're so beautiful. Yeah. And I, I like the concept of the sunflowers because they, they follow the sun. So it's like uh, spiritually, like, you follow the light. And I feel like she, she went through this door and, like, going up. And she's, she's, she's rising above. She's rising, and uh, she's strong, but she's calm, and uh, she's following. Confident. Her, yeah, she looks confident. confident. And she's following her, her path to, to the light, towards the light. Yeah, I wish sunflowers were around longer than they are. They're such yeah, a short life. Yes. Um, but they, they, they're just, there's something about a sunflower yeah. that just draws you to it. Yes. And, um, and the horizon and the, everything is really well done. And uh, is there any painting involved in this? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's all, yeah, it's all painted. Okay. Yeah, so I, I put, a, it's like I use the digital as, as a puzzle mm -hmm. to bring the idea together and then I, I paint it. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm just learning more about the digital yeah, work. Yes. Yeah, so, but I, but I see, I love to see the combination because I really think it's important to, to be full circle on, on a piece of art. So yes, that's really very cool. I think we have another one. Yep. Oh, the one behind this one, you. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is. The, I keep saying Van Gogh. Van Gogh. I, yeah, I love <laughs> the colors. I love the, Van Gogh. Uh, <clears throat> he's really an inspiration. I think that he's. He wasn't afraid to express himself, and just everything in him is like so much energy. Like you see this. The strokes are like moving, and that's yeah, the, energy. Yeah, the yes. movement is beautiful. And I think I wanted to show uh, with this piece, it's flowering thoughts. It's um, that's the power of the mind and the power of our thoughts. And the growth. And in that dualistic idea of, of I'm saying I'm I'm showing the the Greek statue mm -hmm. to show a little bit of the Stoic philosophy. Mm -hmm. That is completely. Uh, opposed to Van Gogh, I think he's so expressive, but it's, it's that like the power of the mind and how you control your your thoughts and what you can accomplish. When That's you, really, really yeah. beautiful. That's lovely. Yeah, very cool. I mean, I'm so glad you brought it in today because <laughs> it, it, it just uh, yeah, I, I love 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 that piece. Okay, so let's go on to another one. Uh, this one I also started it uh, digital. Is that you? <laughs> no, this is a this is a photograph from the 70s in Woodstock. Oh, yes. okay. Oh yeah, it looks familiar. I was yes. there. No. <laughs> I wish I was there. I, I think I'm from another generation because I love the music from the 70s. Oh yeah, well the and 60s and uh, 70s were. I love it. I mean, they that was just our our life. I mean, and it hasn't left us. I mean, my grandchildren listen to the, the 60s music. Right. I mean, there was just so much about it. Um, I guess it's more reality or something. I, I, I don't know why it's stuck around so much, but um, my husband, uh, we're in the car and he has to put it on. It's always the yeah, 60s yeah. and For the me 70s. to paint, I, I need music. Yes. And I usually listen to I, I listen. I'm very eclectic. You can see in my paintings that I'm an eclectic person. But uh, with music too. And, uh, Is there um, any artists that you really like to listen to, or you're just really all over the place? I'm like all over the place, but yeah, there's. I think there's times in my life where I listen some. Some softer, more. some some more with a beat. Yeah. 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 Me too. Me too. Um, 
I, re I really enjoy having music around me also. Um, it's better than anything else. To paint all the time. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, because you just go into your own little orb. Yeah. Um, sometimes I don't even have any sound. It's just so nice to paint when it's quiet. Oh, it's, yeah, that too. Yeah, so you just never know what you're going to get, though. <laughs> 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 I really, really enjoy that. Um, I think that's uh, all, our, all the photos that we have, right? Is that correct back there? I believe, I believe so. Yes, yes, that's it. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so your your uh, stuff is up there, Christine Ann Nightingale, and your phone number is listed, and yes. you can find you at uh, Christine Nightingale Art and Christine uh, Design at Gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, everybody, go take a look at her work. I, you know, it's they're all one of a kind. They're all absolutely beautiful, and um, and. And I just love being able to share um, Christine's work with you today. And um, is there like anything that you want to talk about um, as far as uh, your future art, or what are you, anything you're doing? Or I'm planning um, a collective exposition. Uh, we actually have a meeting on Saturday, uh -huh. and it's going to be in Boca. Oh, great! So. Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah, we'll be happy to uh, yes. you know to put it up on the station, or I can uh, I can, rec I can recommend uh, or actually tell everybody about it if you give me the information. And, and I'm really open to uh, to accept commissions and work with other artists. I've been thinking of uh, painting murals. Oh really? I like I like trying new things. I like challenges. So yes. Yeah, I love challenges. <laughs> <laughs> I've never attempted a mural, but I've I've, yes. I've done. I think it would be Fun. Yeah, I've done glass doors, glass windows. Okay. I've done all that in the in the years to come, and um, years before me, not to come. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. Yeah. But I, I do love to paint glass, and if you look around the studio, you'll see a lot of glass that I, that I've done. Um, and I, I just experiment with anything. So yeah, it sounds like you're yeah, yeah, and coming from a very creative mother, mm -hmm. you know, you, anything in front of you, you probably attack. So yeah, anything. Yeah, <laughs> even I'm, furniture sometimes turn, turns oh, yeah. into art. Or yeah, yeah, but you <laughs> know. That's that's what that's what we're all about and and just to let out that expression mm -hmm. is is a gift you know yeah, so sure. do you like to cook yes okay I love food yeah <laughs> yeah because cook. it's a creative part yes. I mean I look at a menu uh, a recipe just to get an idea but I'll never stick to it oh me neither. unless it's baking I, just, I let it flow yeah and whatever I can, something yeah else. my husband's like always like oh my god how did you do that oh, I don't know <laughs> I yeah, just that's did why it. baking I'm not the baking you can't bake because no, you have to yeah. have the precise it's measurements. Chemistry. And, so, yeah, yeah, forget that. Yeah. I failed that. <laughs> <laughs> I let my friends bake for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this has been a wonderful, wonderful interview. And um, I look forward to uh, spending some more time with you. And maybe yes. we can do some collaborations or of we course. can introduce you to some other uh, artists. As you said, you'd like to maybe work with other ones. And um, I would love to. Yeah, and, and, and this is what my show's all about, guys. I really love to in introduce you to... Um, special people, special art, and um, and that's that's the way it is around here. So, as I said earlier in the show, um, if if you know somebody that would like to be a guest on our show, we we have a summer coming up, and we can do it virtually. We can do it in the studio, and um, and we love to express what's going on out there. And we're looking forward to uh, doing some more some art shows, and we're all getting back. Uh, to ourselves hopefully and everybody get those shots so you can be part of the world with us and I uh, look forward to seeing you next week so have an artful day and uh, thanks for joining us see you later